Alright, so in this video, we're going to look at solving logarithmic equations. Now, whenever we're solving a logarithmic equation, we want to get a single, a single logarithm equals a number. Okay? Or we want a single logarithm equals a single logarithm. That's what we're looking for. Now, this single log equals a number. You can see that we have that here. We have a single log on the left hand side and we have a number on the right hand side. So when we have a single log equals a number, then to solve it we want to change this to exponential form. So remember how to do that. That's 2 raised to the third. So 2 raised to the third equals x minus 1. I mean x minus 6. So single log equals a number. We're going to change it to exponential. So that's 2 raised to the 3 equals this x minus 6. So now I solve for x, so I get 8 equals x minus 6. Then I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So I get x equals 14. Let's look at another problem. Now remember, we want a single log equals a number or a single log equals a single log. Well you can see on the right hand side I have a number but on the left hand side I don't have a single log I actually have two logs. But I can write this left hand side as a single log. Remember when it's separated with addition it comes together with multiplication. So that's going to give me log base 6 of x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 1. So that's going to be the log. And then if I fold this out, I get x squared and then negative 2x minus x is minus 3x plus 2. And that equals 1. Now I have a single logarithm equals a number. So I'm going to change this to exponential. So that's going to give me 6 to the first power equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. So 6 to the first equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. And now I'm solving a quadratic equation. So 6 to the first power, that's just 6. So now I need to subtract 6 to both sides. So I get 0 equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. So I need to solve this quadratic equation. I'm going to go ahead and write the x squared minus 3x minus 4 on the left hand side. So that's x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. And to solve this, I need to factor it. you got to remember how to factor. So I get x minus 4, x plus 1. So x minus 4 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. And so this gives me x equals 4, or x equals negative 1. Now, 
whenever we're solving logarithms, remember one thing. When we're taking the log of a number, we cannot take the log of a negative number. So you see if we take this negative 1 and we plug it in for x, we get negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So that would be the log of negative 2 and we can't do that. Since we would be taking the log of a negative number if x equal negative 1, negative 1 cannot be a solution. Now let's look at x equal 4. Well, 4 minus 1 is 3. That's positive, so that's okay. Plug in 4 here. 4 minus 2, that's positive 2, so that's okay. So our answer is x equal 4. Let's look at another one. I have log x base 5 minus log of x minus 2 base 5 equals 3. So I have a number on the right hand side, but I have two logs on the left hand side. Well, I can rewrite the left hand side as a single log. Remember subtraction goes to division. So that's going to be the log base 5 of x over x minus 2 equals 3. Now I have a single log equals a number, so I'm going to convert it to exponential form. So that's going to be 5 to the third equals x over x minus 2. And then I solve this, so 5 to the third, that's 125 equals x over x minus 2. I can write 125 over 1, and then to solve it, I can cross multiply. So I get 125 times x minus 2 equals 1 times x is x. So now using the distributive property, I get 125x minus 250 equals x. And now solve for x, I'm going to subtract 125x to both sides. So that's going to give me negative 250 equals negative 124 over x. And then I divide both sides by negative 124. A negative 124 and so I get X equals 250 over 124 and then I need to reduce this fraction so I get X equals 125 over 62 and there's my answer. Let's take a look at one more problem. Notice in this problem I have two logs on the left hand side and two logs on the right hand side. So this one I'm going to get it in this form. A single log equals a single log because in this problem I can write the left hand side as a single log and I can write the right hand side as a single log. So subtraction comes together as division so that's the natural log of x over x plus 1 equals the natural log of x plus 3 over x minus 3. Now, 
in the previous problems, when we got a single log equals a number, we converted them to exponential form. But when we get a single log equals a single log, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and this and set them equal to each other. So I get x over x plus 1 equals x plus 3 over x minus 3. So to solve this, I'm going to cross multiply. So that's going to give me x times x minus 3 equals x plus 1 times x plus 3. And so to solve this, I'm going to use the distributive property here, and on the right hand side I'm going to fold that out. So I get x squared minus 3x equals x squared plus 4x plus 3. And then you see if I subtract x squared to both sides, the x squareds go out. So I'm left with negative 3x equals 4x plus 3. And so I'm going to subtract 4x to both sides. So I get negative 7x equals 3. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 7. So I get x equals negative 3 sevenths. And remember, we can't take the log or the natural log of a negative number, and we can't take the log or natural log of 0. So if we take this negative 3 sevenths, what x is, and we plug it into up here, well, in the first one, when I plug negative 3 sevenths in here, I'll be taking the log of a negative number, and I can't do that. So this is not a solution. And since this was my only solution, and it doesn't work, then this is no solution. And there's my answer. And that's all of this video.